Hey there, it's Alicia Little. And in this episode of the Digital Champreneur, we will be demoing, I'm going to be logging in and demoing one of the hottest software tools on the planet right now when it comes to building websites and funnels. The great thing is, is that it is completely free for you to build three websites using this tool. So if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's do this. All right, we are back. Now, the first thing that I want you to do is go ahead and sign up for the free tool. It's at funnelbuilderonline.com. That's actually the referral link that I'm sending you to, to go directly to the page to sign up. The software is called Groove. It's absolutely free. What you're going to do is you're going to sign up for the free version and then I'm just logging in right now so that I can actually demo the site to you. So sign up for the free version and then I will show you the most amazing demo of how you can create and edit web pages uh, for clients, for your business quickly and easily and for free. So let me just go to funnelbuilderonline.com so you can see and show you how to sign up. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to share my screen and then I will take you and show you how to actually use the software. And we'll do this all under 10 minutes. So let's have some fun sharing my screen. Uh, all right, here we are. So right now we are on the website funnelbuilderonline.com. And the page should look like this right now. They're doing a special launch. So it is completely free, no credit card required. So make sure that you do this today. As soon as you see this video that you should do it, the page will change. So if it looks different when you do it later, that's because you waited too long. <laughs> so do it now. You're going to see all these amazing bonuses here for upgrading on the platform. But all you need right now is to join at the free level. So whenever you see one of these pink buttons that says, get started for free today, I want you to click on it. And then you're gonna see a countdown timer. It says no credit card required. And really the free version does not require a credit card. You're gonna fill in all of the information that you see here on this page, first name, last name, email, Pick a username that you'll remember and write down your username and password so you don't forget it. Of course, you can do a lost password, but you might as well get it right. And then you're going to click on get free access. And we're going to talk about the affiliate program later and what an affiliate is. But you'll see that it says refer a little. That is me. So it's actually tagging you to me. So now I'm going to help you every step of the way when it comes to using this software. So this is something that you need to sign up for today while it's still free. And then I'm gonna log into my account and show you how to create a page using this software. All right, so let me go ahead and share a different screen where I'm actually logged into my account. And when you log into your account, your account will look similar to mine. It won't look exactly the same because I do have an upgraded platinum account, but everything that I'm going to show you, you can do with a free account. With a what? With a free account. <laughs> okay. So right now I am in my account here at Groove and I'm going to click on that pink, you know, thing that's like a two G's. It's their logo. And I'm going to see dashboard. And then now all of the different tools that they have inside of this tool, pretty amazing, right? All of the things that they have, let me just close some of the windows, all the things that they have in here. So, um, but the first thing that we want to do is we want to click on dashboard and go to the groove. Oh, dashboard. That's where I am now. Sorry. Go to groove pages. So we're going to click on groove pages and we're going to build a website or edit a website, but have some fun with it. So 
uh, just just rearranging my screen just a little bit so I can see things better. So now in that top right hand corner, you see that pink button that says new site. Do you see it? If you do, give me a thumbs up. I know I can't see your thumbs up, but let's pretend, okay? <laughs> give me a thumbs up. All right, click on new site. And then one of the things that I absolutely love about this tool is that it has so many templates. A template is a pre-built page that you can just edit and make your own. Now, the great things about these templates are that these templates could be projects for you yourself that you want to build your own, you know, pages for your own personal projects and things that you're doing, or it could be things for a client. So for example, if you want to design a web page for a barber shop, here's the barber shop web page template. So I'm opening it real quick. And then you can see this amazing pre-built web page for a barber shop. Do you see it? What? It is so nice. <laughs> and all you do is you would change the information that's here on the page to your client specific needs. So let's have some fun and change this page around pretending that I have a barber shop. Let's call it John's Barber Shop. <laughs> um, and we're gonna press start building. So now what I have the ability to do is to change that page for my client, John, and he's going to pay me for it. Now, there's two things that you can do. You can do this within your own um, account here. As a free member, you have three free accounts to, to use. Or when you upgrade, you can create an unlimited amount of web pages for clients. One of the other things that I would do is I would sign up John under me to get an account. And then I would go into his account and build the page. Now let's look at how easy it is to change this for John. So instead of um, this logo here for New York Barber, we would upload John's logo right there. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete that um, and then later on, I can upload his logo right there. I'll go make a logo for John's Barbershop in a minute. Um, all right, let me close that. And then the subtitle here says Professional Barbers. So I'm going to put Georgia's Best Barbers. <laughs> and then Professional Barber Studio in the heart of Atlanta. See how easy this is to change. Um, and then pick a date. I'll leave that for now. And then I'm going to scroll down and it says, experience a traditional barbershop feel, luxury and professional just gentlemen's looking styling since 1999. But let's say John has just opened his salon. So I'm going to take that whole line off and say luxury and professional gentlemen's look styling um, uh, for the Atlanta man, I don't know, <laughs> experience the vibe of a professional, like it's already pre-written. I'm just changing it around, um, for John. So instead of established in 1999, I'm just going to put, um, recently opened, um, we've been the go-to reference for all uh, men in town. I don't know. This is not good copywriting, is it? But let's just do that. <laughs> Come visit us today and change the way that you look. So now here's a picture of a man, uh, you know, at a barber studio. If I wanted to get my own picture, I would go to... Let's do Pixabay, pixabay.com. And this is a completely free, how do you spell barber? Did I just miss? No, yeah. This is a completely free stock photo site. And so I can get a free photo to put on the site and pick any of these images that I want. So let's say I'm gonna pick this one. Now I just click on free download. 
and I don't need it to be that big, probably six. I don't even know the size. Okay. I'm going to click on download. And now um, just doing the CAPTCHA. I'm going to download this image for free. Thanks to Pixabay. Again, that website is pixabay.com. Now I'm going to come back over to the page that I'm editing and right where it has this image, I'm now going to upload my own by pressing on configure, then choose image. Again, that's configure and choose image. And now I'm going to click on upload image and I'm going to upload that image that I just downloaded. And now I'm going to press that upload button and you can see, bam, the image comes right over there. Now this is where I can fix the dimensions according to the size that I want it to be on the page, but I'm just going fast here. I'm going to press select. And then it takes me back to this page here and right where you see the configure, do you see that? I'm clicking the update button and let's watch it update. Do, 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 do. What that fast, a completely free image, royalty free. I have the rights to use it because I went to Pixabay and now I am changing John's page up. Do you see how simple this is? Now John needs a logo. So I want to go over to my favorite site for creating designs and logo. It's called Canva. If you don't have an account, go to the design tool.com, the designtool.com. Sign up for a free account. Another freebie, right? Another free account. I love tools. We have so much. Uh, let me do Barber. Let's see if they have a Barber logo. Uh, no. So we'll just do logo. They have so many free tools out there that can help you build your business. And I love teaching about them. <laughs> so make sure that you are also using these free tools, right? Okay, so here is a logo that I would love to use for John's Barber Shop. So instead of it saying the Barber Shop, I'm just going to change it to say John's Barber Shop. And instead of the B in the middle, I'm going to use his initials, which are JT. You see, that's not fitting in. So I'm now going to make the font smaller, going to put it to 45 going to move it down right here. And I'm happy with that. John's Barbershop. We've got a logo for him. So what I'm going to do right now is I am actually going to download this logo. Let's go ahead and download it. It is downloading, downloading, downloading. And let me open it up really quickly that you can see it. Okay. So you should be able to see John's Barbershop and the logo right there. Can you see that? <laughs> so what I'm going to do is just something that I do. I'm just going to, um, uh, whoops. And I am just taking a little screenshot of it. So on my computer, I press control, uh, alt shift S <laughs> to do a quick screenshot, but however you take a screenshot of your screen, that's what I was doing right now. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to a website called remove.bg to remove the background on this image. So let me go ahead and remove it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to looking to remove the background but the screenshot that I just took, I don't know where I saved it. So I am just going to take another screenshot. I'm going to come back to you in just a minute. I have paused my screen just so I can do this really quickly. Oh, you know what? Let me just go back and unpause it. And what I've done now is I've just uploaded the original logo that I downloaded. Usually I'll cut off the top and the bottom, but that's fine. There we go. I am going to now download this logo with the background removed. So I don't want a white background when I'm going to upload it to this web page. So let me go back up here where it says this is an empty container. And what I would do is I would go here to the elements on the right hand side. And I'm actually going to put an image in this container right here. Let's put an image, drop that right there. So what I'm actually doing is making a place 
to upload John's logo to the one that I just made. Again, technology tools, so cool. I made a logo that quickly using that free tool, the design tool. And now I am ready to upload it. So as you can see the image right here, it doesn't have any white background behind it. It's completely background free. I'm gonna click update to add it to the page. And there we go. Now I do see that this logo actually probably looks better on white and not this dark background. So I might have to redo that. I'm gonna go ahead and delete it and maybe I will upload it as a white logo later or I would upload it later on the page or at the bottom. So maybe instead of this image right here, uh, let me upload John's logo right there at the bottom, choose the image. Let's see how this looks on white and update it. And just as an example, you know, I can put it anywhere on the page that I want, but there's the logo that I made. And I think that it looks much better right there. What do you think? So we've covered a lot in these past few minutes, but I just want to give you a really um, brief recap. Oh, one of the things that you should also do when you're creating your pages for clients, and you can see it would take me a few more minutes to finish up this page for John's Barbershop, but I'm going to go ahead and save the page. And then after saving it, you can preview it to see your work as you go along. And then there's other elements that you can tie in, getting a domain name, which would be johnsbarbershop.com and making sure that it goes to this page and that sort of thing. But just wanting to give you a quick preview so that you can grab this software today while it's free. But here we go. Georgia's Best Barbers, professional barber studio in the heart of Atlanta. And then there's the copy that I wrote. There's the picture that I got for free on pixabay.com. And then let's go down to the logo that I created. There's the logo that I created on Canva for free for John's Barbershop. I'm definitely going to charge him for the logo design, for the website design, and all this great stuff. So what I want you to do right now is play around with the software and get the tool while it's still free. So right now, go to funnelbuilderonline.com, just like I showed you in the beginning of the video, sign up for an absolutely free account and then play around with it. Go find a template, you know, make something. This page I'm making for John's Barbershop, although there is no John's Barbershop, I will finish the page and add it to my portfolio so that I can show people what I'm capable of. It's a really good tool to use. And this is a really great example for you. So again, Funnel Builder Online and then um, I created the logo in Canva. That's the design tool.com. I removed the background of that logo using remove.bg. So it fits perfectly on the page and looks really good. I got the free image for the page at pixabay.com. And I've got so much more to show you, but we're going to leave it at that because I think that you've now seen the power of this software and the tools that are out there. And I hope that you enjoy playing around with some really great tools and grabbing your free account where you can build three web pages absolutely free. Have a lot of fun with it. Bye for now. Grab it today. And I look forward to seeing you on the inside and working with you more in showing you how to use a tool like this. Oh, and when you sign up where it says refer a little, it also will send me your details. I'll keep in touch with you and send you more training videos. So that's all you need to do. And um, yeah, that's it. Go grab the software funnelbuilderonline.com and send me your latest creations. I look forward to seeing them and how awesome they are. Bye for now. Bye.